110% ready, been very patient in this whole, uh, you know, this, this leading up to this fight and 110% uh, ready to fight. Do you think the boxing gods have been testing you uh, with everything that's been going on or reminding you that this is where you belong? Now the boxing gods are on my side, they ain't on his side because they've been seeing all the little mistakes, all the small one percenters that, that he's been stuffing up. So um, I'm just ready to fight. You know, I've got this tunnel vision that's that's unbelievable. You now we talk about tunnel vision. And I had the birth of my third kid. You know, uh, about a month ago, and uh, the passing of my grandfather on the same day, and I still went and trained. Now, if that ain't gonna break me, what's gonna break me? This kid? No. Would you have been at this level without the tests, or do you think that the tests um, throughout this camp have helped you aspire to another level again? I've been getting tested my whole career, and you know, I've had to really earn every, every bit of my career. Um, every bit of my success has, has been through hard work. You know, and dedication and discipline to this, this sport that we love. Um, you know, I just take it as it comes. I take it as it comes. And these tests and all these different, uh, you know, things that came this way throughout this uh, this fight, I just stay focused, remain in the gym. I really did not take my foot off the, off the pedal. I was in the gym nonstop and uh, you know, just pushing myself every single day, day in, day out. When I say day in, day out, I mean day in, day out. I've been in the gym. So um, I perfected everything. I'm ready to fight. Saw some really good energy in the last paid session, even just the snippet with you and Mick Ackerway. Uh, it seems like the whole team, everyone, we, everything we see, this, uh, this stuff from your dad, it seems like everyone's just risen right up for this occasion. You know, very happy. You know, we know that the hard work we put in, we have a fantastic game plan and we are just uh, focused on, on winning and victory. Um, you know, we'll, we'll fly out next week, the whole team. We'll go to Miami and uh, join the Sweatbox team over there and obviously finish off the, the last final touches. And then we'll be uh, flying to New York and ready to do the business and bring all these beautiful belts back home. That's uh, that's the vision and that's what's going to happen. <laughs> the greatest fight any Australian uh, could ever embark on in their boxing career. It's, it's an absolute milestone that you've got here, so congratulations on that. I was watching the, the not just the replay of Zab Judah versus uh, Kostya Zou back then, but the, the kind of the documentary which was the lead up to it. And it seems very similar without comparing you to Kostya Zou, but it almost feels like that very clash of the titans you know kind of uh, underdog coming to america to to make dreams come true kind of fairy tale because it feels very much like that and um obviously the country's behind you that support must feel pretty good watching that fight yesterday um look i grew up in that class of gym for a very long time in my amateur career and obviously started my professional career and I have a lot of uh, similarities in, in, in the way you know he, he used to fight and the way I fight as well, but adapted my way of fighting too. But um, it, it, there is a lot of similarities in that fight. You know, the young brash, you know, Brooklyn boy. You know, uh, they're both Brooklyn boys. Zab Judah, Brooklyn. Lopez thinks he's Brooklyn. We'll give him that. Uh, you know, I'm just focused, man. And Costa was, was super focused. I've seen the first hand. And, now my focus is, is, is unbelievable as well. You know, the hard work that he would put in, the hard work that I put in. All the greats, all the greats in, in, in Australian boxing, you know, I, I love and respect. And, uh, you know, I know after 36 minutes or less in this fight in three weeks, you know, I will be uh, on top of them all. We, uh, we just want to see you do really, really well. I go out there and put it all together like we know that you can. Um, you know, the support is amazing. You know, I've got a lot of good people behind me and, and the fans are behind me. They all know what I'm about to uh, embark on and what I'm about to, to win and bring back to this country. Uh, this is real boxing. This is boxing at the highest level. Um, you can't get no bigger, you know, and, and uh, the media that's behind me, the support, you know, all the shows like yourself, uh, the mainstream media. Obviously, there's a few that, 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 that don't want to support for, for their own reasons, but uh, that's fine. We, we keep doing what we're doing and uh, you know, we'll be uh, bringing them both back home and, Mate, really changing the game here in Australia. So go get them all the best and we're with you. Bring it on, November 27th. Mate, I can't wait. Go get them both. All the best. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.